Hello Leo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So feel free to check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate. Your um, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And sometimes those can resonate more than your Sun sign. All right, let's get into it for Leo spirit. What messages do you have for Leo in regards to love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. So thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. Strategy. I've gotten this two other times already. I don't remember which signs though. Let's see what else for Leo? door to personal healing and happiness Aries just got this one what else Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus In regards to love June 2020 okay we got all tied up interesting how I keep getting similar cards all of these cards I've already gotten in other spreads here that I've done interesting so someone here feels stuck it could be you Leo or the person that you were in a connection with or thinking about or the person coming into your life um, I feel like someone is strategizing opening this door thinking uh, deeply about how to make something happen for themselves. For Leo, please. Using the Revelations Tarot today. I'm gonna have a link in the description box along with all the other spreads that I use or all the other decks that I use. It's a beautiful deck, very flimsy slash um, slippery but beautiful artwork it has art for when a card is upright as well as when it's reversed all right guys let's get into this for leo today's spread's going to be a little bit different than others i've done i'm not really going to be clarifying um, other than setting down a second set of cards so let's get into it for leo Ace of Pentacles reverse. Something to do with finances, something to do with a contract or a commitment being broken. Maybe there's financial struggle or something to do with money or missed opportunity. Let's see what else we got for Leo. Seven of Wands. So notice how there's artwork for when it's upright and also when it's reversed. It's really cool. So you are standing up for yourself, defending something here. Standing your ground, facing opposition, not giving up, not giving in. Okay, what else? King of Swords Reverse. Well, that's not a good one to be dealing with. King of Swords Reverse. They tend to be cold, very cold people. Difficult people to talk to, to deal with, period. Could be dealing with this person right now or, and this could be anybody. This could be someone in your family, someone that you work with. King of Cups. We got two kings here. King of Cups. King of Swords. Hmm. So there could be two people here. We'll see. The Fool Reversed. I keep getting this card. This is about... A reckless 
possibly a reckless decision here um, led to financial struggle, a reckless decision um, or a reckless, something like way too risky um, led to someone losing either a commitment or something financial, something solid. Could also be that the a lack of finances is keeping someone from a beginning here. We got six of pentacles reverse. This is something that's out of balance. Someone giving more than the other person. You're standing up for yourself though. What else? Nine of wands reverse. So this has been extremely um, exhausting. Possibly a lot of time has passed. This King of Swords energy is exhausting to deal with. This could be somebody giving up completely here with the Nine of Wands reversed, or it's affecting their health. Maybe they don't want to fight anymore. What else for Leo? You could be dealing with an air sign, a water sign, Aries. We'll see. Queen of Wands reverse. Three people here now. <laughs> this Queen of Wands reverse always tracks me up. You see how they look? <laughs> Queen of Wands reverse. They tend to just do whatever they want, essentially. Let me move this up. Um. They don't care who they hurt, who they um, aff like affect with their actions, like who they inconvenience. They just care about getting whatever they want. They crave attention. Bottom of the deck here, I have the Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on to something or holding back. So let's see. Help me clarify these spirit. I'm just gonna set down to save time one more card for each of these, kind of to help clarify the message. And then later in the extended, I'll clarify each set of cards. Help me clarify each of these spirit. I'm just gonna, and you know, to save some time, I'm just gonna wait until it feels right, and then take out all of the cards at once. So let me clarify these messages for Leo, please. Okay, it feels good. For this Ace of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Swords, some sort of ending betrayal happened here. With this Ace of Pentacles reversed, either an ending caused financial struggle here, or um, or this this struggle here, this missed opportunity caused an ending here. This could be a broken contract, a broken commitment. The Sun, there you are, Leo. Feel like you're fighting for your happiness, fighting for clarity, for truth, standing up for you. Three of Wands, interesting. Someone could be waiting here, waiting to deal with this King of Swords. Five of Wands, drama, drama, competition, fighting with this King of Cups. Interesting. This King of Cups is in the midst of this drama. The Chariot with the Fool reversed. Someone's moving. I feel like there was probably a delay in a departure here towards a new beginning, but it's still going to happen because someone here is moving on or changing direction. 
with the chariot. Cancer energy there. Ace of Wands reversed. So this is about um, not being able to manifest something, not being able to have a new passionate start, being blocked from that. So I feel like something here was unfair to you, Leo. And now you're, you know, you're fighting back. Something just didn't work for you. And now you're fighting back. Oh my goodness. The moon reversed. I'm just going to start calling this channel the moon reverse. <laughs> I keep getting it in so many readings. And I shuffle between um, videos and during the video. I just don't know what's going on. I feel like the whole collective is going through something right now where things are coming to light. We're having realizations. We're having, we're figuring secrets out. Um, it's just a hot mess out here. And it's with every single sign, practically. So something here is being revealed. Um, something has been an illusion. A secret is coming to light. Something was not as it seems. Or, you know, the moon upright, something's not as it seems. Something's not as it appears. And when it's reversed, it's like now you're seeing that clearly. Seven of swords. Deception. Avoidance. Or it could be strategy. But this is with this queen of wands reversed. So that tells me it's clearly deception. This queen of wands reversed tends to... Uh, crave attention they'll do or say whatever it takes to keep someone's attention and what's at the bottom of the deck here two of cups reversed so there could be um some sort of breakup um some sort of partnership that is severed here um, someone's still holding on though, even though something's over. Someone's holding on or unable to let go of something that didn't work out. And that could be you, Leo, or the person you're dealing with. Wow, we got a lot going on. A lot is going on. Clearly there's endings here. A big ending with the Ten of Swords. And that's what's starting it off. Now, I know you've had a few readings recently where you figured something out, where something has come to light, where you now know the truth. And I feel like a lot of you Leos watching will do something about that. I have the chariot right underneath the Ten of Swords. It's almost like, okay, this is done. Time to move. It could be that the road you were on was too risky, was not, you weren't thinking smart or you weren't prepared. And now it's time to choose a new direction. And this time you're choosing a new direction for your own happiness because you want to be happy this time. You want to do what makes you happy. This door to personal healing and happiness, you want to walk through it. And in the midst of that, there's something here that is unfair to you or something that wasn't able to take off. Like Ace of Wands Upright is a, is a brand new start a passionate new beginning something you are feeling hopeful about um, something that has a lot of potential possibilities and when it's reversed it's like that never happened and it didn't happen because I feel like someone was being breadcrumbed here like they were just getting a little bit of someone not not it was not equal or fair at all in any in any sense of the word and it could be because there's three people involved here. Look at this three of wands. Usually this three of wands doesn't have three people, but in this deck it does. It reminds me a lot of the three of pentacles. And it's with a king of swords reverse. It's like someone here was not playing fair, was not being a good person. Someone here was possibly lying or twisting the truth. Um, someone wanted to have their cake and eat it too, that kind of energy, because this King of Swords is above the moon reversed. So it's almost like a third party was revealed or um, an interference was revealed or this King of Swords is being seen clearly right now. And someone's not going to fight with this King of Swords anymore. 
they're tired. They're exhausted. This has been an exhausting experience for someone and they're over it. Tired of the lies, the shiftiness, and, and you know, being unable to trust someone. Five of Wands, this is drama, this is fighting, competition. Could be that this King of Cups is interested in you, Leo, and they have to fight to get to you. Um, it could be that this King of Cups is jealous, because uh, the Five of Wands could also be jealousy. Um, it could be that there's five people involved here, or just a dr like drama ensues, and it has to do with this deception. Someone wasn't playing fair, and I think they involved a Queen of Wands reverse, which was is always a bad idea, because they're they don't they don't care about. They, I mean, they're they're only for themselves. They don't care about the greater good. <laughs> they get what they want, and then they just kind of you know, they love the gossip. They love the drama that unfolds. This Queen of Wands. So I I think for a lot of you. Uh, there's at least three people here. It could be uh, anybody. It could be family, friends, exes, people at work. I feel like there's, been, there's, there's like a battle going on here. A lot of these, uh, you know, have the, the Nine of Wands reversed. They're like holding a stick. Then I have someone here holding a stick here with the five of wands are all holding sticks. Then over here I have the seven of wands. You're holding a stick and trying to defend yourself here as well. It's almost like you've been trying to defend yourself or protect yourself against this onslaught. And for some reason you feel tied up. You or the person that you're interested in, whoever this is for, you feel tied up. You feel like, like you're trapped. Um, and it could be that you're trapped in your situation right now, but I don't think it's forever because I have a chariot here. The chariot's all about moving forward. You will need to let go of whatever you're tied to there to get on this chariot. Now, I think someone here, what's underlying all of this at the heart of this reading, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups reversed. This is someone that's holding on to or holding back from a breakup. Either a breakup is happening or will happen with this Ten of Swords. And it's because there's a broken commitment or a financial mess, or it could be that someone had experienced a financial loss or a loss of an opportunity here. There was no new beginning here for someone. And it's it's because there's a, they're just stuck in like this war zone. This queen of so of songs, this queen, can't even say this queen of wands reverse. I feel like they were a part of this deception. This queen of wands reverse was playing dirty, and they got caught. Someone found them out, and I think Leo. This again, this is an ongoing reading for you guys. And I, I don't know which cards are going to come out when I shuffle. I don't, you know, there's 78 cards in the tarot. And when you reverse them, double that. So I don't think it's a coincidence that I keep getting this reading for Leos. You're fighting for the truth. You're going to get it. And then you're going to move, make moves towards something else. And honestly, I feel like this is all part of a strategy, whether you're aware of it or not, to get you to this door to personal healing and happiness.
that's what the sun represents here is right underneath the, the door to personal healing and happiness card and you're standing up for that you're fighting for that you're defending that i i really get the sense of you fighting against this whole mess and then jumping on this chariot to go right through that door that's what i'm seeing here of course it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of action and a lot of courage but you're a leo literally the symbol of strength <laughs> of the lion if anybody has courage to deal with this it's you leo and i think it's going to get to a point where you're going to feel so paralyzed by this whole situation that it's going to be like a switch where you're just going to be like why am i dealing with this still why am I still in this drama? Why am I still dealing with all of this fallout? Why haven't I left yet? Why am I still stuck in a situation where I'm not happy? You know, I feel like this is for those of you that have felt you don't have a choice. That's a lie. We all have choices. We all have free will. We can all choose to go on this chariot and begin fresh. We all have that choice. There's no such thing as we don't have choices. Will it take longer for some of us? Yes, but does that mean it's a shut door? No. The door can be opened at any time, but you have to walk towards it. You have to open it. And I think it's it's, it's definitely not a coincidence that I keep getting doors as part of the energy cards of these readings for the next six months. There are doors that are being placed in front of us on our path, and it's up to us to open them and walk through them. Some of us have opened them and looked right in, but haven't stepped through it. And I think for you, this is something that cannot be ignored. This is not something that you say, oh, I don't see this happening right now in my life. For those of you that are having a very quiet life right now, this isn't for you. Or it could be that this is going to blow up soon. But this is something that's been ongoing. This, this fighting and drama and arguing and not seeing eye to eye and nobody getting along and there being lots of love here, but also drama. There being lies, secrets, and unbalance here. These are all, all things that you have already experienced or have seen coming or have felt deep down. And I feel like a lot of you are going to have a new beginning based off of the switch here of direction. It's almost like you're getting on this chariot and you're not looking back. And the reason I say that is because in this card, it kind of looks like he has his back. He's just turning, turning his neck, but he's just leaving, right? Almost like, oh, y'all, y'all see me leaving? Good. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's kind of the, the energy I'm picking up on here. And it's with the full reverse. So it's even for some of you here, you don't even care if this is a risk. You've gotten to the point where you don't have any any more to any more F's to give, how the kids say nowadays. So, you know, and I feel like for a lot of you, you've been holding on or 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 unable to completely let go of a of a partnership that is not working. And I think that has to change in order to have a new beginning. The Ten of Swords leads to an Ace of Swords. Okay. All of the Tens lead to a One. This is the culmination, a complete ending. A new cycle begins after this. So the endings are necessary in order to move through. And it's going to be painful and it's not going to be easy. Endings are not supposed to be easy. If, if They're only easy when you don't care. And how hard is it to not care about people that we were with for a long time, right? It's almost impossible. But that's what's required of you, Leo. If you want happiness, if you want to walk through that door, you need to free yourself. That's the message for you. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated with some of you. If it did, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you again, everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.